different while discussing these topics now as every one of us has a mission to achieve similarly toast master club also has a mission to achieve so for this i would request all of you to please stand up and put your hand forward the mission of our toast master club so this is our is to provide is to provide mutually supportive mutually supportive and positive and positive learning environment learning environment in which in which every member every member get the opportunity get the opportunity to develop to develop communication communication and and leadership skills leadership skills which in turn which in turn poster poster self confidence self confidence and personal growth and personal growth meeting today's presiding officer is toast master rahul he is currently working as a data scientist in the mnc so uh, i would i would with this i announce the starting of meeting and hand over the stage to toast master rahul thank you toast master anurag for the warm introduction good morning good morning Good morning. Good morning. <clears throat> My name is Rahul, and I welcome you all to the 536th meeting of Millennium City Toastmasters. 536. It's a huge number. It signifies that for the last 10 years or so, we have been meeting as a club every Sunday, working on our public speaking skills and leadership skills <clears throat> in order to become an effective communicator. and a better leader first of all i would like to wish you all happy 75th republic day to you all first thing first let's have a warm up activity could you all please stand up you have to follow my instructions it's a very simple game when i say walk you have to ran randomly walk this is the space you have and when i say stop you have to stop yeah. right here very very simple game by the most is also same yeah let's <laughs> have to it let's try one more time <laughs> <laughs> okay stop walk walk stop stop walk stop stop walk smart audience stop now let's make a change when i say walk you have to actually stop and when i say stop you have to actually walk okay walk stop 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 <laughs> walk Walk. <laughs> Stop. 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 Walk. Walk. Stop. Now you can walk. Please have a seat. Thank you for coming. Hi everyone. Uh, Sakshan on this side. I'm a software developer and a product 
Dr. Sundari. So the reason of joining Toastmaster was to work on myself and I have heard a lot about this Toastmaster from my friends. So see how it goes and uh, uh, like uh, expecting a lot from myself also and uh, good work to have an expectation from you as well. Today's Toastmasters, Toastmaster of the day is someone who joined, who joined in June 2016. He is very experienced. He is currently National Head, Corporate Partnership and Capability Development at FNC India. He loves reading, he loves music and he loves public speaking. He's, he has also served twice as the president of Millennium City Toastmasters Club. He has served once as VP Education as well. He is going to talk about and share some tips for the incoming international speech contest that is supposed to be happened on 4th of February. Let us all welcome with a big round of applause the very talented, the very experienced, the very dynamic, and the very energetic Toastmaster Bhaktu. Good morning. Good morning. When uh, somebody gives an over introduction, it makes you nervous because then you have to live up to that uh, introduction, right? So don't expect too much from me. Uh, I am the Toastmaster of the day. Uh, Toastmaster of the day is a speed weaver, so we have the proceeding, how it runs and uh, what are different sessions and all. So that's what I will do. I am also going to discuss about the art of delivering a speech or maybe let us prepare for the international speech contest. Everybody knows that international speech contest is coming up? Yes. Yes, yes everybody, right? Everybody has planned to participate? Yes. 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 Okay. So that's great. Okay. So before we get into, into the detail of it, I mean, let me explain to you the structure. How many guests? Two guests, right? Three, three guests. You are the other member, right? So, um, like uh, three guests. So, you should know how the Toastmasters Club works. There will be three sections in the Toastmasters Club. The section one is the prepared speeches. So, people come over here, they have prepared speeches. If you join Toastmaster Club, uh, for your information, you say, let me see how the proceeding goes. <coughs> that means if you don't go, you will not join, right? That's what you want to say. Uh, so don't judge in the first session itself. I'm just I'm kidding. My point over here is you become the member. You get login ID. And there are 12 different paths. Toastmaster International has decided. One of the paths you have to choose. And there are 42 projects. 42 projects means 42 speeches you have to do. There are five levels. So once you complete all the five levels, you will be certified as a competent communicator for that path. You can then choose another path, third path, fourth path, but every path there is some cost involved, right? This is a, this is a non-profit organization, so there is a fees there, but it is just to develop uh, of communication and leadership skills of the people, right? So this is how, but uh, uh, three, uh, three sections is a prepared speech, so from the path somebody has taken prepared speech, he prepares, comes and delivers over here. Uh, that is one. Second is impromptu speeches. Every topic we call it here. So you are given a topic, you have to come here, you have to stand on your feet, you have to think on your feet and stick. Right? And many a times in leadership positions, you have to speak all of a sudden. Right? You are asked to speak uh, like maybe farewell speech or a welcome speech or many different ways you have to really give an imp impromptu speech or one or two minutes. It is the Toastmasters Club for this environment where in a very familiar environment, safe environment, you can learn to speak. Right? So this is a wonderful platform for that. And third, the heart of entire Toastmaster meeting is the evaluation. The speech, speeches are evaluated, right? And uh, there, there are a team of evaluators. So um, yeah, there are different roles you can see here. Uh, GE means general evaluator. So he will evaluate this entire meeting. Then there will be grammarians, so everything related to grammar, somebody will evaluate. 
then aha counter you know what is aha counter when we speak our mind runs faster than our tongue then we start to be filler word uh, um, like so you know right so somebody will count that how many times you use crutch words we call them crutch words and then time they will manage the time and there will be each speech there will be a value of that but let me not spill the beans more i will invite uh, first to the joke master right yeah joke master yeah so who is the joke master joke by is a way to have smile on the face yes so the joke master is a joke master so welcome for my uh, and he will get the job for us then i get okay good morning everyone Very cool nowadays, right? You are very cool. I was also very cool. Thank you for showing up today. I know it's very difficult to be your cozy, warm blankets in the morning. I do the same thing. In fact, this is the first day I wake up before ten a.m. Believe me, ten a.m. Right? <laughs> Just to realize that the meeting would start at eleven. Otherwise, me and my son had slept last week. All the all the all seven days, almost like till ten thirty in the morning. The school was closed, but that was very difficult. Lives me. Let me tell you his situation to explain his situation in school. The <coughs> mother went up to upstairs to wake up her son. Her son kept missing the alarm, sleeping through the alarm. She said, "Jimmy, wake up! It's time to go to school. You are going to be late." Jim said, "Oh, mom, let me sleep in. I don't want to go to school today." Jimmy, it doesn't matter whether you are going to go to school or not. Wake up. Jim said, "Mom, please, it's cold out there. I'm very tired. Let me sleep in." Jimmy. You have to go to sleep. You have to go to school now. Why I have to go to school now, Jimmy? First of all, you are thirty-six years old. Second, <laughs> you are the principal. Now get up. <laughs> now you understand why I didn't join the leadership team of the Christmas at last. <laughs> Just a good sending message like that today. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> So now I will invite uh, the general evaluator, Mr. Dupanshu, a very young toastmaster, but very seasoned toastmaster, and he is the general evaluator today. So he and his team, what they are going to do, he will share. So. He has won many contests for our club at club level, at area level, at division level, and he takes many roles at the, at an area level. And so, very good, Mr. G. Yeah. No pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Bakul sir, I'm humbled. Good morning, fellow Toastmasters and guests. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's rightly said by Winston Churchill that. success is not final failure is not fatal it's the courage to continue that counts friends my journey till now has taught me to get that courage you really need good people in your lives people who give you constructive feedback feedback such as the highlight your weakness as scope of improvement and they celebrate your strengths as if it's their own strength. This is exactly my job today. This is the only reason Toastmasters have an evaluation session. As a general evaluator, I will be evaluating our evaluators, and most importantly, I will be evaluating our meeting as as a whole. Now, in general evaluation, there are four type of evaluation. First is our evaluators called speech evaluators, who will be evaluating our specific speakers. We have four speeches today. Second is Table topics, uh, speaker evaluators. So all the people, guests, members who will come on the stage and give their table topics. 
there would be a specific table topic evaluator who will be giving them their strengths and their scope of improvements. Third is the evaluator called auxiliary role plays. As said by Babul sir, we have three, a counter, grammarian, and timer, which are the three pillars of public speaking. And the fourth evaluator, anyone guesses? No. The fourth evaluator is you guys. After every role, we have a feedback form. I request every single one of you, for example, if I came on the stage or the speaker came on the stage, please put your feedback on that form. It is beneficial for the speaker because they get to know what audience felt, how their speech reacts. <coughs> so after the form, uh, our president will share the feedback form and request everyone to please take up some time and put that, your feedback in there. With this, I would like to invite our auxiliary role players to explain their role. First, I would like to invite our grammarian for today, Toastmaster Ankita. Can we have a hand for the
Thank you. I will present my report at the end of the meeting. Thank you, everyone. We will come with my own, with my own team in the last section of the meeting. With this, I hand over the stage back to our dynamic customers of the day. So, international speech contest is coming. There are different contests organized by Toastmaster International. Uh, one is international speech contest, which is coming up. So, you have to contest at club level. If you win at club level, you go at area level, where four clubs winners come and participate. Two, two people, so eight, eight contestants. You win there, the first two are sent to division level. Again, I mean, that there are two people who get selected, then you go to semi final level. From there, three people get selected and then you go to final level. So once I had an opportunity to reach to the first semi-final level, uh, and, and it was a great journey uh, of preparation, right? But I did not uh, clear the first semi-final. Uh, there were issues behind that, but I lost it, right? But I prepared well. Uh, so how to prepare for it? What are the what are the ingredients of it? Now I can teach theory, right? Everybody, I can teach theory. But this time I'm going to do through case study. Are you fine? Yes. Yes. So there is one international speech contest winner. We are going to listen to that speech. Are you fine? Yes. And then we will divide this into three groups. Right? Each group will have a leader. Once you listen to the speech, you will find what are the ingredients you liked. Why do you have won that speech? Right? Are you fine with that? Yes. Yeah, instead of theory. Right? Makes sense to all of you. So then, uh, I have been given only 25 minutes, so 7 minutes are the speech and one, and one or two minutes will be here and there. Then you have to divide this uh, into three groups, so possibly this can become one group. And who will be the leader? Sir, you can take the lead. Right? Uh, this can be the another group. Tonmai. And this group. Tonmai, you can take the lead. More value. Yeah. And this is third group. Third. And Mansi, you can take the lead. Hi. Yeah. Uh -huh. You are a lead, you know, like a trainer and a coach. Right? So, okay. So, the, the one who is the leader has to have a pen and paper. <coughs> and okay, he or she can take all the feedback as to what did they like and what are the things they see. Now, what to see, right? How the internal speech is evaluated. So, let me show you the pen and paper, right? So, uh, how? Whether you can read it or not, but I will read it for you. Okay. So this is the ballot paper you have to keep in mind while listening to the speech. Are you fine with that? Yes. Yes? Okay. Fine. So there are three areas the international speech contest is evaluated. One is the content which has got the weightage of 50 marks. How much? 50, 50 marks. marks. And it has got speech development. The structure, the organization, and support material, how they used it, right? Maybe props also, right? Second is the effectiveness, achievement of the purpose, interest, and reception. That is the second one. Are you right? You write down, right? And always I'll keep it open thereafter. And third is the speech value. What was the idea? What was the logic? Was, was the thought very original in nature and all? Yeah, so that is that is speech development and its weightage is 50 marks out of 100. Second is the, the delivery. And delivery has three components, physical, your appearance, how did you groom yourself, your body language, how did you use your speaking area. Yes, right, that is one. Second is voice, your flexibility of voice, voice modulation, right. I mean, if you really speak in a plain vanilla, you cannot keep the interest alive of the audience. Public speaking is all about, you know, like making voice modules so wherever there has to be emphasis. That should come when you speak. And third is the manner. There, I mean, manner, direct, assurance, enthusiasm. And this is the third element, right? Uh, uh, when you are really talking, pursue your speech, you are delivering. And then, then you all have to do the yoga, and the yoga is important for the life. And if you don't do yoga, your health. I mean, you cannot impress your audience, right? 
My dear friend, if at all you want to live a healthy life, it is the yoga which will bring transformation in your overall health. Now I mean that is different way to deliver. Are you getting my point? Yes. So that is second. And third is the language. So, so possibly your delivery has 30% marks, 30 marks, 50 marks for content, 30 marks for delivery, and then <laughs> language, appropriateness and correctness. So, uh, to, to speech purpose and audience, whether the speech was appropriate to the audience, right? Nothing in inappropriate words. So don't take anything political, anything too religious, anything where you are expressing your political view or Hamas and Israel wall and no, don't get into those 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 things when you really pick up your topic. And then correctness, grammar, pronunciation, and word selection. Uh, so that has got 20 marks. Appropriate language is 20 marks, but grammar has only 10 marks. See, if you don't you do a couple of grammatical mistakes. Toastmaster is not very, very fussy about it, but good grammar is important. What do you like to do with that? Yes. Yeah. So with this, are you ready to listen to the speech? Yes. yes. Okay. What did you say after content? Right. Delivery. Okay. Delivery. Delivery. After content, delivery. Three areas. The content had three areas. What was the What are the three main areas? I'll, I'll, I'll repeat. Speech development, effectiveness, and development. I'll, I'll, I'll repeat. Speech development was the first one. Can you see? Oh, sir. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, speech development, structure, organization, and support material. Then effectiveness, <laughs> right? I mean, uh, Achievement of the purpose, the interest you take and you generate interest in the audience and, and, and the reception, how the audience is receiving. Sometimes, you know, like I always say that if at all there is some event and that's the best way to, to, to live. If at all, I mean, uh, somebody is sitting uh, in the audience with a donut, right? And you start the speech. And if he has taken the bite during your speech, your speech is not effective. Right? But if at all he has held the donut and throughout seven minutes he doesn't want to eat donut, he wants to listen to you, you have succeeded. Very simple method, right? So donut should remain intact through seven minutes of the speech somebody delivers. Would you agree with that? And that is what the interest part of it. Interest. Now any other question you have? No, that's it. Thank you. Everybody clear? Yes. yes. Everybody? Yes. yes. Can we go ahead? Yes. Okay. So this is the international speech contest of winner, right? Let's start. Who's, what's his name? Ah, uh, Dhananjay. Uh, you and I are not very different from this flower. Yes. Just like this flower is unique. You are unique. All of us have something special that makes us as good. Do you know what makes you special? Now the answer to that can be a little difficult to find. Because sometimes life has a cruel way picking out your petals breaking you in two and throwing you into the trash. And when you're broken, it's very difficult to feel special. Mr. Connor share my fellow flowers. I can remember the first time I broke. I was 17 years old. I had already flunked high school and managed to get myself arrested. Now, I wasn't afraid of cows, but there was one person I was very afraid of, and that was my mom. <laughs> Raise your hand if you have an emotional mom. Let me see. Put them all together, you get my mom. <laughs> I can hear her scream outside the police station. Even the cops were afraid. <laughs> she came up to me, held the iron bars, 
looked into my eyes, and I saw the tears coming down his face. Now I've seen my mama cry before, but mothers cry three types of tears. Tears of joy, tears of sorrow, and tears of shame. And when a son sees a mother cry, tears of shame, that's a life-changing moment. She looked at me and said, son, I want you to be a better man. That night, when I drove home, my dad was waiting for me at home. Now, my dad is a cool dad. Raise your hand if you have a cool dad. Put them all together, you get my dad. <laughs> my dad came up to me and said, son, it's okay. You flunked your exams. You already got arrested. That's fine. You get that from your mother's side. <laughs> I want you to start working immediately. And I said, okay. So my dad took me to meet one of his friends, called Sam. Now Sam was an accountant who had an accounting firm and had generously decided to make me his personal assistant. And there he was. He looked like a teddy bear. But this man was special. I looked at him, and he looked at me. And then he said the most amazing thing. He said, son, I see something in you, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> if you decide to work with me, I can help you find that something. And I was like, whoa, that's the first time in my whole life somebody has ever told this he's on me. And I started working for Seth. And every day after work, he used to tell me stories about the world, about history, about culture, about philosophy. And it was much more interesting than what I learned in school. And I discovered I can dream. And I started dreaming, ladies and gentlemen. After one year, I went back into high school, completed my exams, and went into college. After successfully completing college, I found a great girl. But not a job. <laughs> I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. Have you ever had that problem? And when you're lost, it's difficult to feel special. So I went back to my cool dad. And I said, Dad, I feel lost. He said, you are like your mother. <laughs> introduced me to this strange girl that had a strange name with strange people talking. <laughs> On the first meeting, they told me to do something called a table top. I aced it. But while I was speaking, I see a strange man seated in the back row, humble, simple, the unfailing quality of kindness in his eyes. As soon as I finished, he walked up to me, looked me dead straight in the eye, and said, Son, I see something in you, but I don't know what it is. If you come here twice a month, maybe we can find that something. And ladies and gentlemen, I discovered I could speak, and I love speaking. And that led me to become a teacher. I know what it's like to not have enough money in your bank. I know what it's like to worry when the bills start coming in. And sometimes, in the middle of the night, I wake up my beautiful wife and I ask her, Honey, why did you marry me? <laughs> she says, I saw something in <laughs> But I still don't know what it is. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, today I'm a dreamer, I'm a speaker, and I learned the unfailing quality of unconditional love from my wife. I was broken, and I've been broken, lost, and broke many times in my life. But the people in my life were able to reach into the trash can and make me whole again. 
If it was up to me, I would have never been able to do that. And this is why if you have great people in your life, no matter how broke, how lost, or how broken you become, they can piece you back together. Ladies and gentlemen, when I look at you, I see something. <laughs> but I don't know what it is. Oh. Can you make a photo of the title of the speech? Please welcome our next speech. I see something. 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 So now you huddle as a group and discuss what are the great things you observe in that speech, okay? And we will be that you have to come and report back, okay? So you are given three minutes time to gather your thoughts and then every group leader will be given two minutes to present. Are we fine with that? Yes. Because there is a time limit.
So I gave 30 more seconds. Right, so time is over. Right? 
nervous ah itu itu bicara ya itu kayak ayo ada itu from there everything starts are you getting my point this is one second thing is what you mentioned like i see something in you that was the speech title in gaurav you remember once we both discussed about that you keep looking your title into your speech repeatedly by which you can look and people can remain connected with your title that's a beautiful thing it did so two big highlights otherwise you are and all are definitely there now i'll invite our guest uh, and then the lead of the group mansi is a friend similes and metaphors and all no? the figure of speech absolutely figure of speech thank you for that bakul bhai key message i think one of us stood up and said you need good people and that's how he also ended right you need good people always involving the audience the second point yeah thank you bakul bhai for that so the group noticed that interaction with the audience how many times did we say raise your hand how many of us noticed that raise your hand please Raise your hand. Who noticed it? Super. Thank you. That's what you did, right? Raise your hand. Interaction with the audience. How much you built in humor. But you know, as learners, we are visual, auditory, kinesthetic. We see and we learn. We listen and we learn, and we do as we learn. So great point out there to involve the audience and make them do something. That was something we noticed in a delivery as well. A uh, calmness. We talked about the use of stage, owning the stage. Great point out there, sir. Confidence. The body language. I see something. that is not standing he's really taking it out there but he's not going over the top yet so you feel calm yet you feel interacted and included you cannot eat that donut i promise what is this right <laughs> and last but not the least yes i think language of uh, grammatical mistakes none at all and absolutely powerful so clearly our group in that speech we See saw you. something thank you very much Is there a learning for all of us? Yes. So when you come on the stage, remember, don't make a conversational speech. आप दूसरे दो दोस्त के साथ बात करते हैं ऐसे स्पीच नहीं दिया जाता है। स्पीच में तो पूरा इन्वॉल्व होके इलोक्वेंस, एक्सप्रेसिवनेस, परफ्यूसिवनेस शुड बी विजिबल व्हेन यू स्पीक, राइट? तब इंटेंट होता है। यस सो ओल्ड इज़ थैंक यू। I saw many things in his eyes. and i know what i saw there are four structural things we discussed today first is content what i observed he pointed us to the three journey what is three journey he started with very high point he took us through his journey to bottom we could feel and then at the end he left us here so that we can celebrate his success and relate him with all of us I found in the in terms of content, the anecdote he started with anecdote very nicely, and very nicely content and delivery was coupled. That's another amazing thing. Speech value. Uh, one thing he used very nicely is rhetoric. Broke, broken. There are many such terms. 
in terms of effectiveness as she said he asked for dns to raise hands a couple of times that's quite amazing thing delivery role play and one of the important thing in the role play is your position and your voice you change both the things and he did that thing really nicely he used prop to have more effectiveness deep voice he used used pace and pause very nicely i want that have you noticed that every two minutes through his eyes he was connecting with audience different parts very nice and the last thing he did very nicely to generate awesome delivery is punch line <coughs> his punch line was awesome and he repeated that very nicely connected with the content he connected that with the content language it was very clear on size you could hear because it was pause it came across a very succinct and uh, very clear grammar i couldn't find anything in fact i didn't notice that the last thing and that's why probably they get 10% because 90% dominated his speech he was wonderful thank you Speech is a compelling story. Whether you are making your business presentation also, it should be a story, right? And here also it should be a story. That is one. Second, three ingredients I gave you for the preparation: how to deliver a speech. First is righteous. Second is righteous. righteous. Third is righteous. 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 For my speech, I had practiced it forty times, maybe more than forty times. And another international speech contest winner, he was preparing for one year. Now, eight week before prepare, कर के आओगे, you cannot create this 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 product, okay? The leave the actual or be थोड़ा practice कर लिया आ गया. That is not the things which which can happen, right? So with this, I hand over the stage. No, I have not to hand over. I have to deliver the speech. So I will be now get into the prepared speech. Are you already fine? Yes. yes. I have prepared some theoretical elements. I will share that presentation with all of you. Go through it. How to draft speech? What are the components to be? So I will send everything. This was the one case study we did, and possibly we have all. Did we have a learning? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. With this, let's get into the speech contest. Speech number one. Anurag Yadav. Right, Anurag Yadav. Uh, Anurag Yadav is our uh, member. He has taken the pathway leadership development. Right, Anurag? Yes, yes. Right, right. Okay, leadership development. Uh, objective for Anurag is to practice the skills required to connect with the unfamiliar audience. Okay. And uh, who is the evaluator? Ashish. Oh my God, a very seasoned boss master. So Ashish, can you share? the speech objective for anurag thank you very much well right we mentioned that uh, uh, today he is delivering his speech uh, from a pathways called leadership development he is delivering his uh, level 3 project and the objective of this project is to practice the skill required to connect with an unfamiliar audience and uh, timer please note the timing for the speaker is 5 to 7 minutes the topic that he has chosen to deliver is called unleash your emotional intelligence so i wish you all the best thank you thank you before anurag delivers the speech for the guests and also for the members j krishnamurthy has once said that the ability to observe without evaluation is the highest form of intelligence what does that want to say you have like listened to dhananjay and now you start directly comparing him with him right he is he's learning right he's on a learning learning stage right so don't compare that in these two speeches right he has come here to become dhananjay in the time to come with this the title is unleash your emotional intelligence anurag anurag unleash your emotional intelligence strategy for this It isn't the stress that makes us fail. 
It's how we respond to stressful events. A quote by Wade Guru. Good morning, Toastmaster of the day, fellow Toastmasters and dear guests. Recently, I attended a training on emotional intelligence at Accor Hotels. And I later on went to read a book called Emotional Intelligence by Daniel Goldman. Today, I want to share my learnings with you all. Can someone tell me what is this? This balloon symbolizes us. Whenever a stressful event happens, this takes place. Another stressful event, someone said something. An argument with a colleague or friend of yours. Another small incident, something people said. What do you think is going to happen? Blast. Blast. With all that pressure, you know something is going to happen. And what just happened? You bursted out. <laughs> Either you burst out internally in the form of hypertension or heart attack, or externally in form of hitting someone or throwing abusers. What is emotional intelligence? Emotional intelligence is the ability to understand and manage your own emotions and those of people around you. Did you know that 90% of top performers have high EQ? Additionally, they make $29,000 more than their lower EQ counterparts. Wow. A study published on rethinkcare.com. Emotional intelligence is also responsible for 58% of your job performance. If you want to grow in life, you have to master your emotional intelligence. Now, what are the four pillars of emotional intelligence? Let's have a look. The first one is self-awareness. The best way to inculcate the habit of self-awareness is through meditation. Doing five to 10 minutes meditation on a daily basis for two to three months to get that benefit of being aware about your emotions and how you're feeling. Later on, you can extend it to 15 to 20 minutes. Second pillar of emotional intelligence is managing your own emotions. If you can't manage your own emotions, how can you manage others? So for, for that, there is something known as the 60-90 second rule. Whenever you face a stressful event, stressful situation, remove yourself from that situation for 60 to 90 seconds because that is how much it takes for your logical mind to take over. And then you can go back and face that situation, you'll be able to act logically and able to handle that situation amicably. The third pillar of emotional intelligence is knowing others' emotions. Now, for example, if Rohit came to me and he said, hi, I said hi to him, but he didn't reply back. Now, a normal person would think, Rohit is so arrogant. I said hi to him, but he didn't reply back. But an emotionally intelligent person would go to Rohit and say, Rohit, I said hi to you, but you didn't reply back. Are you alright? And he might say, oh, I'm so sorry, I didn't hear you. I haven't slept for two days. I've got this really big project I'm working on. My dog ran away yesterday. I'm so sorry. And then you can say, can I help you in any way? So that is an emotionally intelligent person. The fourth killer of emotional intelligence is managing others' emotions. If you know how they're feeling, you can manage them in a better way. If you know someone is having a tough day, you can give them a half day. If you know someone is going through a tough area of life where they're really stressed out, you can give them two days off. So when they come back, they are 100%. Because end of the day, the work should not suffer. Now, let me talk about the trigger that we all have. We all have a trigger or something that we do when we're in a stressful situation. For me, it is when I'm in that situation, and this happens very rarely, maybe once every six months. And what I do, I stare at that person, and it's a deadly stare, and I don't say anything. It's very awkward, but it's satisfying at the same time, but something I'm trying to avoid. So what is that thing that you do in that stressful situation? It might be you yell out at that person, you start abusing that person. Whatever that is, you, sh you have to stop doing it because it doesn't add to your personality. Now let me tell you a short story. Once upon a time, there was a guru way up in the 
Himalayas, he was giving a session to his students early in the morning. All of a sudden, a guy wagging him from the door starts yelling at the Guru, saying so many bad things about him, abusing the Guru. But the Guru doesn't do anything. Once the guy is finished with his rant, he leaves. One of the students asked the Guru, Guru, that person was saying so many bad things about you, but he didn't say a single thing. Why? The Guru says, child, when someone is giving you hatred or something that you don't want, you always have a choice to take it or not take it. I simply did not take it. Then how can I respond? Similarly in life, we always have a choice. When someone is giving us hatred or something that we don't want, do we take it? If we take it, we have to respond. Or do we not take it and save our peace of mind? Don't ever give anyone the control of your emotions. It's like giving someone a remote control to your life, where they can press any button and make you act accordingly. Ladies and gentlemen, with all the learning that we have had in the six to seven minutes, I would like to say two affirmations with your help. Would you like to help me? Yes. 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 I said, would you like to help me? Yes. yes. Okay, so first affirmation is, I am, I am an emotionally intelligent person. An emotionally intelligent person. Okay, second affirmation is, I have, I have great control over Great control of what? My emotions. My emotions. And those of others. And those of others. Shake hand with the person next to you and say, You, my friend, are an emotionally intelligent person. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Back to Toast. You are Toast Master of the day. Thank you so much. You have one minute to give feedback to Anurag. Open your mobile phone. There is a QR code. Or there is a link, I guess. Abhishek? <laughs> so just uh, scan the QR code and just give feedback to Anurag. Keep that link open. All the feedbacks are collected and sent to Anurag. So nobody will see. Nobody will see. Everybody will give feedback. <laughs> so you have a wife? I, I do, but I, would I have the link? You, you will also get it. Okay. Uh, where is the link? I can send it to her. Need to be shared. Yeah. 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 to be shared. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the okay. left. The, the members can share. Uh, yeah. Yeah. No, no, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Send me more money. Mansi, should I forward? No, I, I'm just scanning here. Okay. Okay. Even okay. okay. You send it. Okay, okay. It's gone. Everybody should give feedback, okay? If you don't give, you will not get feedback to your speeches. <laughs> Time is up now. Time is up now. Let us get into the second speech. The second speaker is again a very seasoned Toastmaster, Mr. Rahul. I have heard his speeches in the past. Wonderful speeches. First speech also set a benchmark. Let us listen to the second speech now. And uh, the pathway is presentation mastery. The first part, Anurag's pathway was, what was the pathway Anurag had? Leadership, Leadership development. This is presentation mastery. He is at level two. Project number two he is doing. And his evaluator is Surinder. So Surinder shared the objective of the Rahul speech. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Guru. Professor Rahul is delivering his project level 2 and uh, second speech of Pathway Presentation Mastery. The title of the 
प्रोजेक्ट इज एन एक्स्ट्रा ऑर्डिनरी समोसा स्टोरी अभी ऑलवेज हार एन ह्यूमरस पीजन फ्रॉम हर एंड फ्रॉम हिम एंड टुडे वी आर आल्सो लुकिंग फॉर अ ग्रेट स्पीच एंड आई होप दैट इट वाज You have not taken a breakfast, and it is twelve o'clock, and you have to listen to a samosa. It is not easy. Okay. So, Rahul, an extraordinary samosa story, an extraordinary samosa story, Rahul. All the best. Do you know what's inside this bag? Samosa. <laughs> I'm surprised you guessed it right. <laughs> Let's imagine it's a samosa. I could not get one a little small. It's a very popular Indian snack, usually accompanied with chutney. You must be thinking, it's just a samosa. What's the big deal? Why is this story extraordinary? My friends. It's not just a samosa for me. It has a special place in my life. Fellow toastmasters and dear guests, sometimes when you feel lost, it's not the famous books, it's not the prominent personalities that guide you. Instead, it's ordinary, insignificant events. that can teach you valuable life lessons it was 2010 i was in tenth standard a teenager and kind of a jumbo i always used to have some of chapatis cooked by my mother only please do not hate me but if i knew they were cooked or in fact even touched by my sisters i refused to have it <laughs> somehow there was a thing in my mind that said rahul what if they might have not washed their hands <laughs> once and again we were having samosa party one thing led to another my father pointed out and said you don't have any problem having samosa made by someone else they don't even wash their hands but you have concerns when your sisters cook chapatis for you just to clarify i was sitting there and he was standing it triggered me it hurt my ego without a single thought i swore and said i will never have samosas again in fact i will never have any fast food from outside <laughs> you see cutting down on junk foods wasn't a bad thing but the premise was wrong My sisters, on the other hand, were actually really happy. They thought they would have more samosas for dinner, but it was short-lived. My father stopped bringing my share of samosas. Days passed, weeks passed, few months passed. Every Sunday, my family was having samosa party, and I was a mere spectator. <laughs> They tried their best to persuade me, but I was at an end. Eventually, few years passed, and my ego never let me have a single samosa. You can see how childish I was. <laughs> after I completed my schooling in 2013, I visited my village after a long time. I stayed at my uncle's place. One evening, I took my niece and nephew to a nearby fast food store. and said you can have whatever you want they ordered samosa they were overjoyed they were relishing every bite of course in front of me suddenly my niece with those cute little eyes looked at me and said don't you have some <laughs> the way she looked and said went in my heart <laughs> but because of my promise i could not accompany them later on the same day i reflected back and wondered was it all worth it 
Was it worth it to miss all those lovely moments which could potentially be sweet memories just to satisfy my ego? As soon as I reached back home, I said out loud, I will have some samosas again. My parents filled with so much joy after hearing this. <laughs> While my sisters did not even react this time. They were just thinking, he does this all the time, which doesn't even make sense. We ordered samosas, enjoyed the moments as a complete family after a really long time. Then I finished up. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, what makes this story extraordinary is not the samosa, not the incident, but the profound life lessons it carries. We often look for happiness in big things. We often take things on ego. We often look for perfection. This story teaches us that you can truly find happiness when you accept yourself. When you are willing to compromise, when you are willing to let your ego go, when you start enjoying little things. And that's what makes this story extraordinary. There is a famous quote by Benjamin Franklin. Lost time is never found again. My friends, have some of the parties with your friends and families as much as you can. Cherish those moments. Someday, when you reflect back and remember those moments, your heart will be filled with pure joy. Thank you for listening. Over to you, Toastmaster. <laughs> Thank you so much. Be it Dhananjay's speech, Anurag's speech, or Rahul's speech, <coughs> there was a call to action for the audience. So remember, when you deliver a speech, always have some key message for the audience, call to action. Now one minute time for all of you to give feedback to Rahul on an extraordinary Samosa story. We have to give feedback on the same way. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. Yeah. Time is up. Time is up. Now two more speeches. We are entering into the third speech. There is a quote which says, Journey of thousand miles. Journey of thousand miles starts with first step. So today, Ruchita Trehan is taking her first step on the stage with her first speech. We call it an ice breaker speech. So any ghost person joins, the first speech delivered is an ice breaker speech. In their eloquence journey, right? She will express herself today. So I request all of you, when she completes the speech, we all will stand up and give a standing ovation to her. The, the evaluator for him is Kushi. So Kushi, please share the speech objective for Ruchita. Hello everyone, Postmaster Ruchita is giving her first speech for gas introduction. First speech is known as the icebreaker speech in which she is going to introduce herself to the club 
and no matter what presentation master or any other pre you choose pathway, you have to give your first speech by which you will get an idea how to do that. And as Toast Master Bakul already said, we have to give her a standing ovation at the end to show our encouragement towards her speech. The title of her speech is Transitions in Life. I wish her all the best. Go <laughs> Ruchita Trainer, Transition in Life, Transition in Life, Ruchita Trainer, all the very best team for your expectations. Thank you. I so, good afternoon, fellow Toastmasters and esteemed guests. Today, I stand before you to reflect on a topic which is not only universal but inevitable that is transitions in life. It can be anything, moving from high school to college, marriage, childbirth, retirement, promotion, layoff. Any significant change in our life, it can be planned or unplanned. It can be personal, professional or a social change which impacts us. Challenge with it is, that it comes with range of emotions, joy, excitement, stress, mix of both good and bad. So I would like to share with you one of the major transitions in my life which shaped my personality. So I take you back to 2005 of my life when I got married. I got married to an army officer. And as army calls people outside, I was a civilian. I, my mother, she was a teacher and my father was an audit officer and no connections with army. So we got married and after five days of our marriage, we moved to the first station, that was Jodhpur, where my husband was posted. And we arrived there and I was very happy with it, seeing a new place, meeting new friends. Seven days of our stay in Jodhpur and my husband casually told me in the evening that I'll be moving out for an operation after three days and that is going to be for one and a half month. And I asked him what is the operation? He said that is testing of some weapons and I cannot disclose the location. I thought he is pulling my leg so I ignored him. And see my reaction, he, he reiterated, yes, I am moving out after three days. And I was shocked. He pulled the floor under me. I was not prepared for it so soon. I asked a weird question. Are you going to come back from this operation? <laughs> <laughs> and he laughed over it. He told me two things. First. Very important, you are married to me and you signed for it. So when I am leaving for an operation, in the morning don't cry. And second, maybe you think you are a misfit in this system and organization. But there is a place for everyone in a system and you will make a place for yourself. And with this, after three days, he moved out. And I haven't followed his first advice. I cried like a baby. And he was very uncomfortable with it. When he left, next day, my bhaiya, bhaiya is basically a buddy who comes over to set up your, the officer's uniform. He told me, Madam, I have, please don't mind me saying this, but I have an advice for you. And they are very possessive about the officers, the bhaiyas, you know, because they serve them in action. So he told me, next time when Saab is leaving, Make sure that you don't cry. Because when he is leaving for an operation and when he sees you cry, that, he, that really makes him weak. And he won't be able to spend his one and a half month in the operation just worrying about you. And that was something which came from somebody who was not as educated as I am. He was just a 10th pass. And it really struck me hard. I realized 
that even if you are educated, there are certain life lessons which you only learn when you know it is thrown before you. So from this, I have few, I would say, you know, points to share with you, which helped me to transition in our from you know a civilian to an army life. First, every transition comes with a discomfort. So embrace the discomfort. Don't fear it. Just take it as a challenge. It will pass. Second, learn from the process. No book can teach you life. This is the truth we all know. Right? It's the process. We all have to go through it. So, whenever there is a situation, just learn from everybody around. And last and not the least, be patient and be compassionate to, to your own self, which is very important. Caterpillar does not become a butterfly just in one day. And I haven't become from a weak civilian to a strong army wife just in one day. It took me two years and two posting to understand my role as an army wife. So in the end, I would like to conclude that life, life is a series of transition, a journey filled with moments of change. And that's what defines us, who we are and what we become. When we grow old, it are, these transitions will make our life beautiful and something to talk about. So friends, I would like to say that whenever these are trans these transitions happen in your life, just face them with open hearts and curious mind. So I end my speech here and thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. where you share your story and your story is very very powerful possibly elements of you know get great public speaking are also not needed it is the story which touches and in all the three we observe that right one minute silence give it back <laughs> And time is up now. Last but not the least, one of our veteran members, an experienced member, Bhavna. Uh, she has been the Toastmaster for quite some time and she took some you know, easy roles also in the past. Very smiling uh, person, Toastmaster we have in our team. She has taken the pathway again leadership development. She's at level two. Uh, she is at level 2 and project 1, right? Uh, Siddharth is uh, the evaluator, so please share the objective of the speech. Hello everyone, <coughs> Toastmaster Bhavna is delivering her first speech from level 2, pathway as taught leadership development. And the objective of speech is to observe her, his or her own time management patterns. And the speech title is Take It Forward. Can I please note that time is 5 to 7 minutes. This is all based upon. Bhavna, may 
ಮೇಲೆ ಸಾಕು ಪೇಯ್ ಫಾರ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಪೇಯ್ ಫಾರ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಭಾವನಾ ಮೇಲೆ ಸಾಕು ಆಲ್ ದಿ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಲೇಡೀಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಜೆಂಟಲ್ಮೆನ್ ಫೆಲೋ ಟೋಸ್ ಮಾಸ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಮೈ ಡಿಯರ್ ಗೆಸ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಯು ಎವರ್ ವಾಚ್ಡ್ ಅ ಮೂವಿ ವಿಚ್ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ಅನ್ ಇನ್ಡೆಲಿಬಲ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ ಆನ್ ಯೋರ್ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವಿಚ್ ರಿಮೇನ್ ಎಚ್ ಇನ್ ಯೋರ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎವರ್ thank you uh, so for me that movie was paid forward this was my movie which sparked a desire to bring its essence into my own life and planted a seed of inspiration that would shape my world view for years to come so it started back in my college years while i was on a scout to watch a great movie in hostel one of my friends suggested this movie paid forward this movie revolves around the idea that one small act of kindness given without expecting anything in return can have a ripple effect of goodness there was a young boy in the movie who was who attempted to make a positive change in the world when his professor gives him the project just imagine how you do a favor to help someone in need and you ask him or her that uh, instead of paying it back you pay it forward to three more people who in turn will pay it forward to three more thereby creating a global outpouring of kindness fast forward to a chilly winter morning and i found myself standing at a local bakery store waiting to indulge in a warm cup of coffee and my favorite dessert i noticed a woman standing behind me i in the menu with a hint of hesitation looking at her demeanor and her clothing I noticed and I inferred that she did not have enough money to pay for her favorite dessert. Without a hint of hesitation, I decided to pay for her order. It was a simple gesture, a spontaneous decision driven by the desire to make someone's day brighter. When the cashier informed the young woman that her order had been covered, her eyes widened with surprise and gratitude. She thanked me and in warm smile we parted ways. I didn't think about it much at the time. I had forgotten about it almost until one afternoon I was standing at a local grocery store and a tap on my shoulder caught me off guard. It was the same young woman from the bakery and she was holding a muffin. She said to me, "I remember you from that day. Thank you for your kindness. I want to pay it back." And she was holding a muffin in front of her. I just remembered the inspiration I had from the movie I had seen few months back and I just told her instead of paying it paying it back just pay it forward to someone in need in your own way I went outside the store and I saw that young woman helping an old man cross the road and also giving the muffin to a poor street on the poor kid on the street side I was melted and inspired by her I decided to continue the chain of kindness. Later that day, I saw an old man struggling to fire, uh, hold his groceries to his car and I, without any hesitation I offered assistance. While they were loading his groceries in his car, he shared his own stories how unexpected tales of strangeness kindness had helped him in his difficult times. And I also shared my story of how I visit NGO to poor to teach poor kids on the weekends. It was evident that the small act of assistance offered to him had on not only lightened his workload but had also provided a moment of support and connection. Moved by her encounter, this old man decided to volunteer at a local community store. He spent his weekends helping those in need, thereby creating a ripple of kindness in his own way. Now I would like to share an experience when I was at the receiving end of the kindness. So back in 2020 I traveled to London with my family and as we arrived at the hotel we saw that the lift was not working and we had heavy suitcases with us while waiting outside the lift just trying to figure out the solution to move our luggage to the third floor my 
brother went to the reception, asking for help. When he came back, he had a tree, tear drop or two in his eyes, and he was had a smiling face. Perplexed, we asked, "What happened?" He said that a family saw us struggling with our suitcases, and without me asking for help, they started picking the suitcases, all four of them, including the two children, and started walking upstairs. Moved by this experience, we were all left awestruck. Having had all these experiences in my, in my life, I decided that I I decided and I started having finding joy in embracing opportunities to offer kindness in my own way. In conclusion, my dear friends, I would like to say that pay it forward is not just a feel good concept. It is it is a tangible force capable to create positive changes in the world. Let's embrace the inspiration it offers and see how we can pay it forward and create ripple of kindness in our own way. So here's my invitation to you: think about the times which made you smile, where a stranger's unexpected act of kindness left you in awe. Embrace those moments and see how you can pay it forward in your own way. Thank you. Gita talks about karma pratyaya, right? <clears throat> I was uh, reading chapter twelve of Bhagavad Gita. The four level of bhakti is mentioned. He said, "Ek to tu mei bandi kar, uta ek to hi wo bhakti hai. Agar tu wo nahi kar sakta, to uska prayas kar. You make efforts. Agar wo bhi nahi kar sakta, to tu jo bhi kam kar, usme samne wale mein bhagwan hai. That is also bhakti. Don't go to the temple. Don't pray to me. Unse bhi aage usse ye pata hai. Ke agar wo bhi nahi kar sakta, jo bhi tu ne karm kiya, uska phal ka tyaag kar." That is the highest form of bhakti. Right? So possibly this act of kindness we see in English movie and learn, but Bhagavad Gita is more than that, right? So I don't say that because don't watch the movie. <laughs> you really inspire us to watch Bhagavad Gita now. <coughs> but wonderful speech, right? All the speeches, would you agree? They were wonderful. Yes. 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 One minute silence for us to give feedback to Bhagavad. <coughs> Time is up now, so we are we are through with the first section, which is prepared speeches. Now we are getting into the second section, which is the table topic master. We are running against time, but still we run the table topic master. We take at least few speeches. I invite our table topic master, Mr. Ankit, on the stage to run the table topic section, where the guests and some members. We'll have an opportunity to deliver speech in front of you. Over to you. Thank you, Toastmaster uh, Bakul. So, this is the second section of uh, this meeting, and in this section, I am your table topic master. As the name suggests, in table topic session, I will be calling either the members or the guests on stage, and they have to deliver a short speech. Without any kind of preparation, they have to think on their feet and deliver a speech. And as timer uh, already <coughs> informed that the person who is coming uh, on the stage will be seeing a green card at the end of one minute, yellow card at the end of one and a uh, one minute thirty second, and a red card at the end of two minutes. It will stay up till two minute thirty second. After which, uh, the speaker will be disqualified. 
so that's about the table topic section and uh, there is a proper approach on how to deliver a table topic section which is called oreo approach in which o means uh, opinion r means reason <coughs> so if someone is starting with his or her opinion then they have to give a reason why they think that reason uh, that opinion is correct and then comes e which is example they can uh, give an example to uh, say why they think that uh, opinion is correct and finally they can conclude with an opinion again about the topic given to them right or you yes yeah uh, that what makes the audio approach so uh, and we and uh, to make this more interesting we have included a conversation section so i'll be calling two members on the uh, stage and we'll be giving them a topic and they have to discuss it among themselves um, so we'll be doing that as well so first i'd like to call a member so who would like to come first and so yeah. <coughs> Generally, ten seconds you can think, but then you have to start. Mr. 
you said something about reading minds, na you can speak on that. Yes. <laughs> you want another talk? Hi everyone, uh, all the fellow Toastmasters, uh, I'm Rishabh and I'm going to speak on the topic, uh, my preferred superpower and that is to read people's mind. And it is a wonderful, uh, it, it would be a wonderful thing if I can read everyone's mind because I can get to know their emotions about me and whether uh, I should uh, and, how sh and, and how should I re react towards them and if someone is angry with me how can I how can I how can I make them happy and how to avoid someone if someone is trying to uh, hit you and, and if your boss is angry with you uh, what should I do uh, and if someone doesn't want to see me, then okay, I need to, uh, I need to hold and face that person later if uh, if his mood, uh, if his or her mood uh, becomes normal, and and it has all the capability. This superpower has all the things which can give. Um, it has all the abilities so, uh, that can make you successful as well. Because uh, uh, to know what other people want uh, from you and what their expectations are is a wonderful thing to uh, and to know. Okay, thank you. Thank you, guest Rishabh. Uh, I would like to call another guest. Uh, you, to, you can call Pear. 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 Yeah, so, can you put the name? Pear wants to come. Uh, you want to come? And then, yeah. give him a round of applause. So, yeah, one more message. Last So they threw us in a like 
deep water. And uh, that day, like, fear of swimming stuck in my mind. And I was like, uh, then after that day, I did not went there. So <laughs> this is my uh, memory uh, related to swimming. And I also, yeah, I also want to, I wanted to learn swimming, and that's why I'm asking, asking to other people to, uh, which is the good swimming from nearby. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, thanks. Probably from you since you learned. <laughs> <laughs> Personal story next time whenever you are coming on stage, 
because it will add more connection with the audience uh, because again the objective of the speech. So in conclusion, if Toastmaster Anurag can add some personal story with his fantastic prop, incredible vocal variety and engaging speech, I think we are going to see many sadder speeches from Toastmaster Anurag. Thank you everyone. <laughs> I'm supposed to evaluate the evaluator. <coughs> Fantastic, we had to take it last moment. So, recommendation part was very short. Possibly we could have given more recommendations to Arurad for him to improve. But I mean, credit given to you. You did a wonderful job taking role at the last moment. Second speech, Rahul speech, Surinder. Please come on. He's a very good speaker, there is no doubt on that point. Uh, the things that I like about the speeches was about his the opening with the pro, the start at the opening central stage. And even when he picked up Smosa, we really imagined it. Actually, this is a very dicey thing and very risky thing when you do perform this. I it can go away either way, but you did it very good. In that way, I really appreciate that point. Ap apart from this, throughout his speech, the stage was very good, and I liked most thing about the pace of speech. He was very hum uh, humble, or I can say that calm. That exact word calm. No need to be hurry. Uh, we can connect and we can observe word to word of his speech. These uh, these all things that I like about the speeches. The things uh, need to be improved uh, this was that in the end that I felt that my my case in my own my personal opinion the speech development was not appropriate. It was abruptly end. We was looking for some proper closing. It was need to be improved and you have to check out where was the thing. And the <coughs> one thing that, that I also noticed, you start well with Smosa, but when you just put down your packet here, but you didn't put the Smosa in the packet. <laughs> 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 this was the thing that it, this is very brief. Uh, uh, I can be equally attached to details. You need to. You just smoke some leave there. <laughs> These are things, other things are very good and uh, I am concluding with other good point about your speech that voice modulation was great. Overall, other voice modulation, voices, these are fantastic. Just need to work on these two or three points. You will be a fantastic speaker and all the rest of the next week. Generous in positive comments, right? There are, there are many things where the recognition part is very small in both the cases. We really have, at, at this stage, we have to be very critical. Recommendation should be longer, okay? Again, one of the things for every speaker, right? Never speak and make it proper. When you speak, your body language should not be slanted like this. Proud, right? When you stand straight and tall, that shows your confidence. All this. Never. Never. Okay, that's one. So one recommendation. But otherwise, it was wonderful speech. Third speech, Kushi, Ruchita. Right? You are very convinced to what she wants to say, right? But go through all the feedback you receive, right? Everybody has given feedback to what goes through. And always keep a record. Always keep a record. Make it make an Excel sheet. Keep making it. And as you develop your speeches, possibly you will get to know where you were and now where you are. Okay. What do you by Toastmaster Ruchita, I personally think that she is very courageous. If a person can speak about their personal story, that too related to their family members, I think that is very courageous, so kudos to her courage. And other positives I found were, she was really calm throughout the speech. She was not nervous, as considering it was her first speech. She was nervous in the start when she said, yeah, I need a good luck 
to Toastmaster Bakul. She was nervous at that point, but at the end, she was uh, quite calm. In fact, I was looking for nervousness in her speech, but I could not found that. And another point is, her speech was humorous. When she said, I thought uh, uh, he is pulling my leg, and I asked a weird question that was quite humorous. And another thing was good learning. We found from her speech, embarrassed the discomfort from, from the process. Very good learning. Be patient and compassionate. Kudos to that. The most of it was she was courageous and not, not nervous. That was really nice. Some negatives I found was that you were using the stage movement a little bit less. Like you can show that from the starting that I did graduation, I married, I the layoff and that. You can show the movements here but I think that was restricted to this point only. So that point was missing and some voice modulation even when she said I was crying your pitch was I think the same crying was also here excitement was also here you can show some excitement after your marriage you can add that and another thing was as you are a chartered accountant I thought that you will add that also in your stories that how she came from chartered accountant with married I think it's a beautiful combination obviously so yeah you can add that and in the end, I would like to say that if Toastmaster Ruchita can add some stage, move, stage movement, voice modulation, we can witness a wonderful speaker. Thank you so much. So there are two kinds of people when it comes to nervousness. People who feel nervous and the other kind of people who tell lies. Is everybody who coming on the stage, so never express your nervousness ever. You said I need that. Never. Even if you are nervous, show the confidence. That's the one thing I want to tell you. Right? And voice modulation is really picked up. So with this last one, Bhavna, Siddharth, or again the very old toast master. <laughs> you know, I, I think she did a wonderful job, but exactly not CRC. CRC, CRC, CRC. It was happening like, but you, you picked up the right messages. To give to to Krishna, right? Okay. Uh, okay. So it's a time, sorry. Yeah. Good afternoon. Good afternoon all. There is burning question around us. What can save the earth from humanity? And today we got the answer. Pay for it. Serve without any expectations and chain of kindness. Though these are multiple names, but the answer is the meaning is only one. Pay it forward. Thank you, Toastmaster Bhavna, for beautiful speech and amazing learnings. So let's see what uh, about the speech. <coughs> speech structure was good. Started with question about the film, about the movies, what you like, and the story and body. The story about with the that lady. And ended with conclusion. You managed your time very well. Five to seven minutes. That was amazing. Hand gesture was good. While you were using, uh, using the word uh, pressing the suitcase, you used hand gesture like this. And uh, when you were saying that we were on ground floor and something said on third floor. So your hand gesture was like that. That was amazing. You started from middle of the stage, moved around the stage, and you end, you ended the speech here on center of the speech, uh, stage. That was good. These are the good uh, points or recommendations of the speech. And let's see uh, something recommendation that can make you speak better next time. So first thing is word modulation. Uh, it felt a little bit that you. Voice not a little bit flat, not only sometimes. So try to use a little bit pitch whenever it is necessary. Second thing is hand gesture. So your hand gesture was good, but a couple of times I saw that your hand was, uh, you know, kind of you holding like this one. So try to avoid that. That shows a little bit nervous or unprepared speech. So uh, these two were uh, recommendations. So the speech was good, but 
perform you perform well and uh, just uh, use these two recommendations hand gesture and voice modulation so your speech can be better next time <coughs> Like commendations, recommendations, commendations, wonderful. Voice modulation is one of the area. And then poses create punch. Like, say, for example, you ask a question in the beginning, like right? which movie impacted you a lot, lasting impression? And but when you talked about you really <coughs> made it very conversational. Possibly what you could have done is one movie which created a lasting impression on me was paid for. Now see, I have passed it well, right? So possibly it should not be conversational. Here it is not a colloquial language. Public speaking is not a colloquial language. It should be really, it has to have its emotions coming. That's all, otherwise you are a very seasoned speaker. With this, we are coming closer to the end. There are three auxiliary roles there. Tag team, we call it tag team. So I'll, I'll go and cross them. Table talk. Table talk. Table talk. Table talk. Table talk. I have already given, I mean, you used the CRC, okay? A responsibility to take that. Yeah, but CRC is Yeah, Abhishek. So, all the table topic speakers, you will get a feedback very quickly. Thank you. Although the table, good morning, good afternoon, everyone. Although the table topic is considered one of the most exciting sessions, at the same time, it is one of the tough sessions. Because you have to speak. While you are standing on your feet. So now coming to the four evolution, we have the sarcasm, the surrender, the first one. So the topic that is given is dream, destination, vacation. So something I noticed on Sunday is that when he comes on the says he was his mind. So that's the confidence to you as well and bring engagement to the audience. And then you start connecting with the, your dream going to So you then start your personal story like I went to the engineering because I want to become an no? So you connected with your personal story over there and that's help you to bring engagement in the entire story. And one thing that I ask, uh, recommend you to work on is a voice modulation. So voice modulation was missing out there. So now moving to the second one since we have a short of time. So this is up our case. So the topic is given is a desired superpower. The, although you have to move out to the loop. Second topic because someone from the back has given topic like deep people mind. Over there you speak for the next two minutes, that is great. But while you speaking, I found something to see from you that you are, you are, your hand was a little close. You are not open to the audience. So that's something I have found on his speech. And uh, when you come when your, your name has been asked to come over there, you are so kind of nervous. How where how I'm going to speak over there? But still you come over there and speak for the next two minutes. That's also now moving to the third one, the Anwar and the other side. So when I have noticed that when the two old players has come over there, so you both are speaking to each other, you are convincing the audience over there. So your eye contact was, uh, you, the other side looking at Anwar guys, Anwar is looking at the other side. So eye contact was the audience is missing over there. And but also the you have selected the topics for the childhood memory, the swimming is something that you both have to speak over there. And in the starting they were person and answering over there. So both have to say their personal story that great. Later on, you both has to start telling your personal story. One thing but that I noticed on the data side that your hand was closed while you have the conversation going on. And at the same time, Kanwara has a positive thing that he is my from the sales. So that's the confidence. So that's my side. <laughs> Now the three tech team members, I will <coughs> invite the guardian uh, to really share the guardian with them.
no unnecessary use of fillers uh, form well two times rahul no unnecessary use of fillers uh, long pause five times form well one time uh, ruchitra uh, so use two times form well four times uh, bhavna uh, filler two times so and uh, long pause one time filler three times table topic uh, surendra uh, filler a use two times form well five times uh, rishab uh, used filler uh, Eight times, fumbled six times. Anurag, use filler A six times, so two times, and no fillers or no pauses. Thank you. Uh, finally, the timer. Uh, timer for please present. He was not keeping the silk game at present. One, the old timer is harder than it looks. <laughs> Second, I am not a good multitasker as I thought I was. And thirdly, I watched the wrong movie. I watched Jaimo instead of Paid Forward, so I couldn't follow that. <laughs> and I would like to inform that everyone was on time. Abhishek also. <laughs> Everybody was on time. Except? No one. Really? Everyone. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's still my idea. I'm running short of time. <laughs> <laughs> this is the shortest time I've ever had. Everybody was on time. One sentence time I've ever had. Now, I mean, being a G, general evaluator, let me give my <coughs> feedback about overall meeting. Uh, meeting started on time. Yes. Do you all agree? Yes. Right? The TMOD really conducted a session and a group discussion. Uh, TMOD did a great job. Okay, so that is a, that is the second one. There were a couple of emergencies which came, and that's a part of life. But people, I and mean, I would like to really appreciate the Gaurav for that. He came personally to me. I'm going to will at the speech. And that is, a, that is a real leadership, right? People come forward and really bridge the game. Uh, guest participation, that was really very, very wonderful. All the speeches were very wonderful. There are not too many recommendations to, I, I, to give. Despite everybody who was on time, we are 10 minutes late. I don't know where the village is, <laughs> right? That you missed, okay. That you missed, okay. So with this, uh, we, now it's time for me to invite President to come to the closer, uh, Mr. President, for the day, Rahul. First of all, I would like to thank Toastmaster Bakul for the wonderful session and sharing the tips with us for the incoming International Speech Contest. Let's have a big round of applause for <laughs> for all, everybody, and all of us. Thank you. <laughs> now we are very close to ending the meeting. I would request you all to please vote. Voting links are shared. Can you explain what is the voting to be done to the guests? A couple of guests there. Yeah, so we have different roles, speeches, speakers, evaluators. You can what for the different roles? You can have the QR code from your neighboring members if you don't have access to.
would like to take feedback from the two guests. While everybody is voting and they are compiling the results, I would request the guests to share feedback. If you have any suggestion, what you liked, what you disliked about the meeting. Sir, would you like to share anything? Uh, all right. Uh, so till now, I have been like, watching the public speaking things in internet only and uh, the first time I have experienced that. So just to mention that I have learned a lot since the last, last two, years, uh, two hours. And uh, like there were multiple points, the voice modulation, how you should stand, how you should uh, cover the stage. So there were multiple learnings I got today. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> Sir, would you like to share something of what you like, dislike about the meeting? Any feedback? I like it was quite interesting. Thank you. Thank you for your feedback. <laughs> for the benefit of this, if you have any queries, you can connect with our DP membership, Toastmaster Abhishek, or you can connect with the president <coughs> as well. Is the result ready? <coughs> okay. <laughs> Meanwhile, let's have, uh, let's see how lucky you are. In what year I completed my study? Can you talk about it? Thank you. <laughs> The results are ready. <coughs> Let's start with the best auxiliary volume. We have the Paralympian Toastmaster Ankita, Arkhanga Toastmaster Hussain, and Timer Toastmaster Nidhi. Who do you think is the best auxiliary role player for today's meeting? Toastmaster Nidhi. Because the Toastmaster Ankita. Let's have a good picture. Okay, go now. 